Welcome to Nerd Guy Productions. Today we're going to be watching The Walking Dead. All right, here we are, mid-season finale. How it's got to be, Rick? What's the plan? What are you going to do? <laughs> North, west, south. Report. You know they're not going to report, Rick. Hi. Hi. Oh, a flashback. You know how I feel about them flashbacks. Different from picture. Yeah, no shit. I mean, of course the trash people just dip out on you. Tell me why we spent two episodes trying to get them on our side. Why? Where did Carol and Jerry even come from? Out. It hasn't been long. We have to warn everyone. They're gonna hit back. Hmm. We're doing this close-ups on all the characters thing again. Cool. I kind of like it. He is a really good villain. Okay, here we go. I expect kind of a lot out of this mid-season finale. They need to deliver something pretty big to keep everybody on board, if you know what I'm saying. That's damn adorable. It worked. No, it well, fucking didn't, Daryl. Stupid motherfucker. Why is he writing a letter to his dad? That's weird. Are you going somewhere, Carl? Oh, oh. Like things are getting interesting. Oh no. Oh shit. Whoa! I mean, shoot first, ask questions later. Damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this just got not so good. Uh. Oh, fuck. Probably not the best way to make allies by, you know, murdering their leader before you've spoken a word to them, but I feel like that was kind of a genuine accident. Sort of? Oh, it's time. Oh, shit. Alright, Rick. You uh, should probably get home right now. Oh, I guess they all got their own cars. That's good. Shit. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Ezekiel, you cannot be doing this sad, crabby, be bullshit right now. On your feet. <laughs> There's shit going on. Come on, did nothing that Carol said, like, get through to you? Even just a little bit? You should definitely. All right. <laughs> if that's the reason you uh, get over that, so be it. What is it? Tree in the road wasn't there before. Oh no. That's a lot of Trees do that. Shit's about to go down. Them. You know, shit's about to go down. I mean, wouldn't it be best to just like unload on them right now while you're all stopped here maybe not i don't know i'm not an expert at this shit all right uh don't do anything to jerry please i really like him you know what actually pissed me off if they killed jerry we can't just let them have this place we can't 
All you need to do is survive tonight. I agree. This is my show. You said it. True. This is my plan, and you're gonna do it. You're all gonna do it. <laughs> so let's go. Nice. I like seeing Carl take the lead here. It's pretty cool. Everyone needs to hand over their guns. Gary, shoot that beautiful bastard if mm. anyone tries anything. Same goes for everyone in the cars. Damn it. I would give my gun up for Jerry. It's not fair. It's not fucking fair. Now we're gonna need a new understanding. Apologies. Punish. Kill me. Damn. Carl's brave as fuck. Cars aren't gonna be enough, D. We should have had the trucks. Oh, it'll hold. <laughs> it'll hold. Don't me. worry about it. <laughs> oh, look at that. It didn't hold. <laughs> I'll be damned. Is that just a play? I thought we were having a moment, you little asshole. <laughs> nope, guess not. Oh, shit. Damn. Carl, this is a really bad time to uh, be getting yourself injured. Oh, that's smart. Lower visibility, good idea. Keep moving, Carl. Oh, shit. No. I got this. Who did, who did they just, oh. I just really needed you. I mean, I don't really give a fuck about that guy, and let's be real. No, it almost feels like they're trying to kill Carl in this episode, but I just feel like Carl is one of those characters who just can't die. Still alive in the comics. They've hinted at him becoming, like, the lead of the show later on. I don't know. Just don't really think they... Whoa, 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 whoa. Get moving, Carl. Woo! <laughs> Fuck. Damn. But, anyways, I... <laughs> just... I don't know. I don't feel fully convinced they would have the guts to kill a character like Carl. Dwight, you maybe want to help out? Oh, shit. Yes! There you go. There you go. And that about does that. Oh, whoa. Sorry, uh, I thought you were dead. My bad. Ah. That's why you don't want to block the gate with the trucks. That's why you drove right up to this! Yeah. It was you! Yeah. All of it! Yeah. Tell him to stop! I can't do work like that. Nah. That's Ezekiel! We need him alive! Goddamn King's worth more than all of them! Go! I mean, do these people not know how to shoot people in the leg or the arm? Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. Where is Ezekiel? He's still in there. Maggie, you don't want to do this. Shut, shut up. up. Yeah, just shut up. Cupcake wants to put on a show. Let her put on a show. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you want to be next? Yeah, do you want to be next, motherfucker? Oh, no, I don't. Love you, Maggie. <laughs> ah, poor Maggie. She's had a rough life. <laughs> Her whole time on this show, she has watched everyone she loves die. <laughs> he took his vest back. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. I like how she 
put their own guy in their own coffin. That's nice. Oh, what's the message? Bad. Good idea, Maggie. Now, a lot more people. Oh, hey, Morgan. Just following. Been wondering where you were at. I do. Where's Carl? <laughs> like, I, I'm surprised that everybody here is kind of just okay with leaving Carl in that mess. Sorry. Hey Rick, glad you finally showed up. Oh, hey Negan. Shit isn't funny anymore. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Don't make me do this now, Rick. I got plans for you. Cut you up in little bitty pieces. Feed, the feed his ass, Rick. Come on. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Some sort of screwed up creepy stump with a head. That's when I'm gonna kill you in front of everybody. You ever shut the hell up? Nope. <laughs> really doesn't. Yes. No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Rick, the other side of the bat. Get the gun and shoot him. Do it. Oh, no! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> he flew out of that fucking window. Shit. Yeah, good job, Negan. This is your fault. <laughs> yes! Oh, I love Ruthless Michonne. Whoa. I mean, yeah. Whoa. Well, it looks like we are wrapping the episode up here. And surprisingly, it looks like everybody pretty much made it. The only characters that died were ones I didn't give a shit about. No offense. I brought him here. Oh, there you are, Carl. Jesus. Had me nervous for a little bit. Oh, why do you look so shitty? He didn't get shot or anything, did he? That's how it happened. What happened? What? What? Ho hold the fuck. What? I can't say anything but what? Like, Carl is bitten? When the fuck did that happen? I am genuinely fucking shocked right now. <laughs> that is not something I fucking expected. What the fuck? This is another really conflicting episode. 
of The Walking Dead for me. In many ways, I feel like this episode kind of failed as a mid-season finale, and in many ways I feel like it succeeded, so I don't really know <laughs> how to rate it exactly. Let's talk about the biggest thing right up front. Uh, they fucking killed Carl, and I'm not sure whether I should be pissed off about it or really excited and happy about it. Like, I love Carl as a character, and to get things straight in the comics, he is very, very alive. So for them to make such a bold move and kill such a main character like Carl from season one, the son of the main protagonist of the show, for them to kill him off is a bold ass move. <laughs> and in that way, I really like that they did this because I like, I was really fucking shocked. I'm still really shocked. Carl has always been one of those characters I put on my safe list, like, I know this is a show where they kill a lot of characters, but there are some characters you feel confident they're just not gonna kill, and Carl was one of those characters for me. For shock value alone, and the emotional hit it is, uh, I think it works really well. But I have kind of a problem with the fact that they reveal after all this crazy action shit that he was bitten this whole time. I honestly think I would have liked it better if they had shown us when he got bitten. I'm assuming when he was uh, fighting walkers with Sadiq and we knew the reason he was like kill me and he was putting himself in so much danger was because he knew he was gonna die anyways. I feel like that might have worked better actually but I'm not entirely sure. I mean I didn't even include that scene with Sadiq and the walkers and shit in my last reaction because I didn't think it was that eventful of a scene little did I know. <laughs> the whole time I wasn't even worried for Carl because I was like it's Carl he's fine it's fine and I feel slightly cheated that a character that's been around since season one is taken out by a walker I can't tell if it's just really unfair and it sucks because of that or if it's kind of just lazy writing I genuinely <laughs> cannot really tell in this situation. Either way, I'll give the show some points for uh, that very, very shocking uh, reveal. As for the rest of the episode, uh, it had its ups and downs. Maggie's storyline, in some ways was great and in some ways just didn't make sense to me. I don't understand why Simon and the rest of them wouldn't take Maggie hostage and kill her like they're gonna do with Ezekiel and Rick. The fact that they just let them all go felt pretty convenient if you ask me. But I really love seeing Maggie make her definitive decision, kill one of their prisoners and be like, we got 38 more motherfuckers, do not play this game with me. It definitely made her one of the characters I'm excited to watch in the second half of the season. That being said, I would like to backtrack a little bit to Carl's death. I feel like that opens up a really cool bunch of possibilities in the second half of the season. That's such a huge divergence from the comics, so I'm actually pretty interested to see how that's gonna affect Rick and the rest of this war. I mean, this is even gonna affect Negan pretty much because they had a pretty I was gonna say strong bond, but it wasn't quite that, but you know what I mean. This will definitely shake things up in a way that I think the show kind of desperately needs. Ezekiel's storyline and the kingdom shit was alright, I guess. It was a lot of speeches and the action that was there was kind of lackluster and Morgan just kind of popped up out of nowhere. I don't know, that storyline was kind of just here and there. I didn't really care for it that much. Eugene freeing uh, Gabriel and the doctor was actually kind of a surprise too, but at the same time, I don't care. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm glad Gabriel and the doctor are on their way to safety, but it doesn't make me like Eugene or really feel different about his situation. He's just back and forth and up and down and just, He's a coward, I don't care. Dwight becoming a full-fledged member of Rick's group now that he has been found out as the traitor is sort of interesting. I could see quite a few matchups with other characters that would uh, create some interesting dialogue or scenarios for the second half of the season, so I'll definitely 
be interested in that. The pacing of the episode, um, it was decent, but it did drag in a couple parts. It felt like a longer episode. There was a lot of action and spectacle going on in the episode to kind of keep things interesting, and the way certain scenes were playing out definitely created a lot of really good tension, so give them that. I do think there were still quite a few plot holes in this episode, which kind of detracted from the overall craziness that was going down. I want to give the episode a higher rating for the uh, balls to actually kill off Carl <laughs> and for some of the other more standout moments but honestly it still felt pretty lackluster to me especially for the mid-season finale I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 it really wasn't the greatest episode in my opinion but it did end with Carl at death's door so that in my opinion opens up a lot of possibilities for where the show could go from there. For that reason, I'm actually pretty excited for the second half, but also very disappointed <laughs> with the first half. It was only one episode this first half of the season that I straight up didn't like, but none of them have stood out as really great or anything really. Carl's death is the first instance where the show is kind of sticking its neck out to do something um, a little courageous, which again gets me interested for that next half. The show definitely needs to shake things up for the second half of the season and them killing Carl off and making a huge change from the comics and everything definitely gets my hopes up a little bit. So I will see you all when the show returns. Good idea.